Hey Scorpio, Mariah here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into your reading. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you don't mind my face now on camera. I'm just not feeling too well, but we're gonna get into your reading, right? While I was meditating, I was trying to figure out what did I want to do your reading on? What did I want to do Scorpio's reading on? And Spirit just said, go. Just go. So Scorpio, I'm just gonna go. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna come out in these cards. And I don't know why I'm starting to get emotional. Maybe it's just the cancer in me. <laughs> Let's go, though. Let's go. For my Scorpio spirit, what do they need to know? What, what do you want me to tell them? I don't know. What do you want me to tell them? I'm immediately seeing a ship. It's always darkest before the dawn, but I'm seeing a ship. And on this ship is you. I don't know what you look like. I don't know your aesthetic. I don't know anything. I'm just seeing a figure. And you're on this ship with your hand to your head, looking out to the other side of the shore, seeing what's on the horizon, but not really knowing. But there's a deep sense of faith. Sometimes it's wavering, yes, but it's a deep sense of faith. What's on this other side of the horizon for you, Scorpio? I don't know. So spirit, what does my Scorpios need to know? The night of water. Oh, okay, I got you. So it's rocky. The water is rocky, the water has been rocky, or the water will be rocky. See, when I look at the Knight of Waters in this context, and it's not giving me the context of love, if you will, but it's giving me the context of illusions, right? Romantic illusions, right? We can romanticize the idea of something or romanticize the idea of what we want or what that vision may look like or what it may feel like once we get there. But when we get there, sometimes it's not always as what it seems. It's not always what it cracks up to be. Is your perspective or perception or your thoughts or your beliefs or your ideas or this romanticism of what's on the other side is it truly in alignment with reality i don't know what this has to do with anything but it's just it's just being highlighted for me scorpio tell me more spirit be careful what you wish for you just might get it scorpio can i tell you something i'm just going to tell you something please listen i don't know what's on the other side of this horizon for you but i will tell you be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you're asking for. Be careful what you're trying to ma manifest. Be careful what the idea of something is or what you believe something to be. Because it feels like, why am I getting emotional? Why am I getting emotional? There's no need for this. It's a simple damn reading. Jeez. But it feels like on the other side of what it is that you're trying to manifest, create, or get to, or where you're going, while you're still in the process of crossing that water before you get there just make sure you know what you're asking for just make sure you know what you're manifesting and manifest it in full detail and manifest it in full thought manifest it in full belief and full faith because it feels like scorpio if you get to this other side and if it's not manifested correctly or your perception or viewpoint of what you think this may be and you get there and it's not it feels like there's going to be some form of internal disappointment and struggle and also some form of attachment to something. You're attaching your something. Okay, okay. Let me put this down. Let me put the cards down. Because I, I can't, I can't with the cards right now. Because I don't know what this is for you. It feels like you're going to end up attaching yourself to something that you had this idea of what it is, was, thought, or what you think it may be. There's this ideology about whatever is on the other side of this horizon. Please make sure that it's in full alignment. Because when you get there, I feel the sense of attaching yourself to something. Or someone or a situation. However, that situation is coming from a skewed perspective. Meaning that once you get there and you meet whatever this is. Or whatever situation this is. Or whatever this opportunity or circumstance is for you, Scorpio. Once you get there... It's not in full alignment or reality with your manifestations or what you thought or what you believe it was going to be. And because we have this ideology or this belief or this 
romanticized idea of what it should have been, there's a sense of you being attached to something that's not the best for you, but you're, you're staying attached to it. And I don't know how long you guys will be attached. All of you will be different, but you're going to end up attaching yourself to something out of the hope, belief and faith out of the idea of this romantic. And again, I'm not talking necessarily in the sense of love. Some of you may be, but again, out of this romanticized idea of what this should be staying, hoping that it turns into that staying, hoping that it flourishes into that at some point and it's not and the reason why it's not because it was never going to be why because when we were on that ship in the water and the water was rocky but we we're on our way smooth sailing if you will for the most part minus rocky times to get to that point what we were believing in our ideologies our manifestations our prayers were not in full alignment with what the actual reality of that situation was going to be and we get there we attach ourselves to that and we say out of the hope, belief, and faith that it turns into what it is that we thought it was going to be while we was on that ship. Be very careful here, Scorpio. Now I'm just going off left, and I don't mean to go left, but I am. Just be careful because there's a sense of disappointment. There's a sense of hurt. There's misconceptions and misalignments here. And while you got the chance to course correct while you're on that ship before you touch that horizon, please. Please make sure that what you are praying for, manifesting for, what you're envisioning, what you're romanticizing is truly in alignment. That's all I can ask of you, Scorpio. Tell me more for my Scorpios. Two of earth in the reverse. Six of earth. What did I tell you? Bottom of the deck is the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. And bottom underneath that is the six of air, the boat. The boat that we're moving towards. Are you manifesting out of a... Sp Hold on. What the fuck is this? And we got you right underneath that rebirth. Death. Something hasn't changed here, Scorpio. And that's the thing about this. You got your angels with you. You got your team with you. You know you you know you're protected. You know that you know that you got your team on your side, right? They're on the boat with you in the water, traveling with you. They're not they're, they haven't left you. You know they're by your side. But what is this that's not changing within us? Again, this is your energy, rebirth. But it's in the reverse. The lack of change, the lack of transformation. And that's not Scorpio's energy whatsoever. Baby, you got to understand, and I know all of you know this very thoroughly. You rise from the ashes. You are the phoenix. Don't ever let anybody get you wrong on that. And you know that personally. But there's a lack of change. The change is in the mind. The change is in the mind here, Scorpio. Because with this six of air, you're going towards something with the idea and the thought and the belief of something of what this could be, of what this may be. But the issue here is we gotta go, now we gotta look at the actual chords connected, Neuro, if I can get this word right, neurologically, there we go, in the brain, right? Your cerebral capacity. And the reason why I'm going to these chords specifically it's because what's causing this distorted perception or this motivation, what's causing you to move towards this, whatever this is, again, nine of swords here, there's something that's fear-based. You're moving towards something out of a sense of fear, scarcity, lack. There's something here with this nine of swords that isn't, it's, it's causing some form of blockage mentally here from seeing things for the true sense of what they are. And instead of seeing things for the true sense of what they are, we're looking at it from a romanticized perspective, which takes us into the rebirth and the reverse, right? The death card. You not changing your perception or your mindset on how you're viewing whatever this is you're going towards. So when I ask you, Scorpio, what space are you manifesting, visualizing, idealizing, romanticizing, what space are you truly doing that from? 
Is it from a space of fear, scarcity, lack, loneliness, hopelessness, anxiety, depression, worry, past traumas? Because sometimes we can fight against the tide, so, so we can fight against the tide as much as we want. But the thing here, Scorpio, what I'm picking up, and I'm this, this is just kind of like, I, I don't even need the cards. I'm going to be honest. I don't even need the cards for the rest of this. So I'm going to move these here. I'm going to just speak to you. I'm going to just speak to you what spirit is telling me. We put these over here. I'm going to just give it to you real raw and just as is, Scorpio. This is what's going on. And this is what's about to happen to you if you just, if you... Don't take heed to the message. All of you can do as you please. But you're moving towards something. You're on a ship, which we see with the Six of Swords, right? You're on the ship and you're moving towards something. However, you're coming from a, a, a space of lack. Whatever that lack may be, whatever that loss may be, whatever that position you may be in, that's where you're coming from and using that as fuel to drive you towards what you want, right? A lot of times, our struggle a lot of the times our loss, a lot of the times our heartbreaks, a lot of the times our fears are our motivating factors to do better, want better, and want to achieve something greater. However, that's one of our biggest hindrances. And let me repeat that. That's one of our biggest hindrances. Moving out of that space. Moving towards things from that space. Because what does it do? It calls more of that in. But just in a new, in a new way, in a new situation, on a new phase, in a new circumstance. You're calling the same things in, but just in a new way. So by asking or by moving or by transitioning towards something, right, or asking for it to come in or you're going towards it, but you're coming from that space, what's going to happen here is that it's not going to produce or yield the results that you're looking for. What is it going to do? Strive, create defensiveness. It's going to create blocks. It's going to create burdens. It's going to create the lack of feeling like you have the ability to have everything in, in under your control. You're, you are literally positioning yourself to pull the rug underneath your own feet by manifesting in that position. That's not a good, that, uh, that's not a good disposition to be manifesting from or to be idealizing something or to be romanticizing something from a space of scarcity, a, sca a space of fear, a space of lack, a, spa a space of homeless, homelessness, <laughs> hopelessness, a space of uncertainty, a space of depression, a space of anxiety. Now, don't get me wrong, Scorpio. When we're in those moods and in those situations, those tend to be the times where we truly want better. We don't want to be in that space. But we have to kind of course correct here. How can we manifest outside of that space? What do we need to do to correct within us so that we're not manifesting from that space? Because you're on your way. You're midwater. You're at the midpoint of the ocean. You're in, the, if I can say it, Pacific Ocean. There we go. You're in the Pacific Ocean right in the middle. Just rolling along, all right, I'm going to keep it moving, I'm rolling along. But each and every day, each and every second, and each and every minute, you get closer to whatever this is, Scorpio. You're about to bound yourself and bind yourself and attach yourself to something that isn't what it is. Something that you may have been thinking that it was going to be a certain way, and it's not. So let me stop you before you get there. That's all I'm asking you, Scorpio. That's all I'm asking you. Let me just stop you before you get there. Not saying I don't want you to get to this idea or this place or this situation or this person that you're thinking of, but let's make sure that when you get there, it will yield the results that you're looking for. And on this path, it will not. It will not. And it all starts with the mindset, Scorpio. It starts in the mind. So I ask you, I truly ask you, Scorpio, what mindset and what mind space are you manifesting this from and I mean that and I don't mean to sound dramatic I don't mean to sound extra but I don't I'm just emotional about this reading that I'm not even looking at the cards this is just straight from me in spirit straight to you with love we need to reconfigure some things in the mind space capacity while you're still mid, mid ocean before you get to this other side if we can at least change the internal, if we can at least change our disposition or course correct and get from a space of lack 
to a space of fullness. Get from a space of emptiness to a space of wholeness. Get from a space of fear to a space of hope, hopefulness. There we go. Get from a space of a lack of love to a space of fully loving thyself. And we're coming from that place. We know that once we get there, that we're actually attracting and manifesting, creating what it is that we truly want. So when we get there, we're satisfied with it. And guess what? And say if you're not satisfied with it, oh, this is the kicker. You're easily able to detach. Why? Because by us course correcting our minds in the way our mindset is, in the way we're manifesting or asking or idealizing or romanticizing something from, when we get there and it's not in alignment, because we are coming from a space of healthiness, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. If it's not in alignment, we can easily detach because this isn't what I asked for. But when we're not in a space of healthiness, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and we get there, we try to force something to work because ideally, we saw this working out a certain way, so we try to make it work because we thought it was gonna work this way. It has to work this way. This is what I manifested, right? I'm now here, I'm now on the shore. I made it to the other side throughout this rocky storm and these rocky waters and all of these situations that just got in the way as barriers. I finally pushed through and I'm here and it's not what I thought it was gonna be. So we stay, we stay and we try to make it work. But that, that's where the detriment begins. Let's not do that, okay? So let's come from a healthy space. The mindset, the state of mind needs to be balanced first before we get there. So that way you actually get what you want and then say if it's not that, you can easily detach yourself instead of staying stuck. Trying to because you romanticized or you idealized something thinking it was gonna be a certain way and it turned out that it wasn't. And now you're putting and exerting more effort and energy into something that was never worth it or that was never gonna pan out to be. Why? Because you didn't go towards that in a healthy state of mind. Again, energy attracts energy like attracts like. You will attract situations, people, places, and things, relationships, life events, circumstances. If your energy, what you actually put out is not in alignment. And I'm gonna leave this here. Scorpio, I wish you so much. I wish you so well. Please, please just, this is from love for me to you, okay?